thanks for joining us here at Close Less Travel. I'm Ethel, and I have volunteered here for the past few years. I must like it because I still keep showing up. But today I want to talk to you all about some of our merchandising. It gets a little confusing, and hopefully we'll have a system soon where things will be pre-sorted by area. But in the interim, I'll just give you a little bit of a breakdown of how we do it. So I've got a few items here on my cart, and we're going to go around by the different areas. Now it looks like I've got some electronics and some storage. So let's go to that area here. Okay, so here, this is an electronic item. You know that by just looking at it, it's been tested. It's ready to go on the shelf with all the other electronics. Then we've got some storage stuff. Now, let's see. This could be a crossover of office and storage, but they're next to each other. So, it's time for this to go right in here together with other office and storage items. So let's see what else we've got here. Okay, it looks like we've got some housewares. So let's head on down that way. merchandise it and make it look really nice so that things are very appealing and people will buy more than one item. So let's have a look and see if everything is right. Well now here's something that does not belong in home decor. If you wouldn't display it in your living room or some other part of your house as an object of art or something just enjoyable to look at, it doesn't go here. <laughs> okay, this would go in houseware. Um, same for some of these other items. There are crossover items that sometimes they can be one or the other, but you know, this it says TT, but it's a baking dish, so we're gonna put it in houseware. But we have some other things here that can go in this area. Like this nice metal bowl. This is something someone would use to display items in. And what I like to do if possible is try to put similar kinds of items together so that they play off each other and invite the customer to buy more than one item. Which this area needs some more merchandise. And like I did a little theme here. Um, I've got a little theme going here. This does not belong with it though. I like kind of country cutesy stuff, that sort of thing. So try to put things in a, in a way that it complements each of the items. Like here's a nice thing going on here where we've got a lot of Asian art. So that works really, really nicely. Or you can use color as a theme. Here, someone chose a lot of nice blue stuff, but some people like to decorate by color as a theme, not just style. But you can get the gist of it as, as we look at these things. See, we do have some other items on here. Now these are plates, but they're not serving plates. Okay, these are the type of things you would display in your home as an object of art. So if you can find something that it goes with, uh, it's a Chinese kind of a thing, but that's pretty full. So. We're going to put it here for now, 
and then we'll work on more merchandising later. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have some other things here now. These are very nice looking bowls, but they're just serving bowls. So we're going to put those over in house drawers. Now, housewares. You got to think of housewares this way. If it's something you would use to prepare food, to serve food, or store food, this is where it goes. Okay? So, I got a couple of bowls here. And we'll just place them here. This whole area needs a whole lot more merchandising. When you have things that are like full sets or things that match, they need to be merchandised together so that they'll be sold as a set. For instance, oh. these wine glasses. Okay, we've got a whole set of these little wine glasses. So I want to be sure to put these together so they show at their best advantage. And it looks like we're kind of running out of room here. But, there we go. I want to try to do that. And someone has done a very nice job here recently of doing just that and getting things that are alike together. Because again, that optimizes our profitability. We are able to sell maybe four items instead of just one because the customer sees the whole group. So, let us go on. Now sometimes you find a crossover item like this. It's a very, very pretty tin. And a lot of people use these as home decor. But we also have some that we use for storage, which we keep back here. So we have an assortment of storage tins here. Sometimes we place some of them over on these other shelves so that customers can really see it and really pop when it's at eye level. When you have something that's a really nice eye appealing thing, always try to put it at eye level because then it sells quickly. Okay. And all of these different areas are pretty explanatory, although they do get mixed up a lot. Bakeware and pots and pans tend to get mixed up a lot. But the way to think about it is, if it goes on a stove, it's pots and pans. If it goes in an oven, it's bakeware. <laughs> pretty easy. Okay, let's see what else we got. It looks like I've got some picture frame and some wall art and some other items for the back of the store. So we'll head back there. Also, all your merchandising, if you see something that might be a hazard or is just like not where it belongs, do try to um, get things up and out of the way because we really don't want anyone tripping over anything or, or merchandise getting ruined. Alright, so wall art. Pretty self-explanatory. This is a very small piece so these types of things we don't really have the space to hang them a lot. So we've got these nice little shelves where small wall art can be placed. If it's something that has a hanger, we do have some clips on the uh, flat wall. We keep them over here when they're empty. It's a little clip that goes into the slat and then the hanger that's on the piece of artwork it's inside there so if you see that there is empty space and something that's nice looking needs to be displayed by all means 
put it up. We want the customers to be able to really see everything that we have. Okay, so I've got a picture frame here. Now again, sometimes these are crossover items, but generally you're going to go back here. Some of these could go in with home decor because they're very decorative and it might go with a theme that you're working on in a, a display in a vignette but uh, if not then it can just as easily go in this area with all of the uh, photo frames now crafts oh I hate this area because it gets to be such a mess and I would love 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 if anyone would love to be responsible for this area at all times. It gets very messed up. I have tried to get things labeled, but somehow things get very misplaced. So we will try to get back to that sort of uh, organizational pattern here at some point. But I've had some simple areas of like just basic uh, types of things like this is a uh, all right this is an art kit so paintbrushes and art kits on this shelf okay. stamps and inks I did have a bin for these <laughs> at the moment I don't know where it is <laughs> so this will just have to go somewhere until I straighten out here again. Now, party stuff. We have a lot of wrapping and party type items, which again, I had separated according to category. So, these are all larger bags, these are smaller bags, there's ribbon for wrapping. That doesn't belong here. <laughs> that doesn't belong here either. Um, anyway, so what we try to do is put all of the same types of things together in an area. So we've got all kinds of wrapping and bags here. It's not my favorite way to display them, but at the moment it is what it is. So that is our party and craft area. We've got different kinds of things for party decor, party serveware, napkins, tablecloths, cake decor, different kinds of categories to make it easier for customers to find what they want, which is why it is so important to place things in the right bin. <laughs> Our purpose, after all, is to sell all of this stuff at the optimum price as quickly as possible. And the way we can do that is by having things organized well so customers can find what they want when they want it. Okay, got a couple more things. So, now, Sometimes there's some confusion as to where something should go. One might think this would go in hardware, but it's a baby safety item, okay? So because of that, because it's a specialty type of a hardware item, we're gonna put it in with baby We have a whole bunch of these types of things in here because when people have babies and toddlers, they're going to be looking for these kinds of things. And they'll find them in this area where they shop for those types of things. Hmm, let's see. We've got a toy. But it's a specialty toy because it's a baby toy. So these are all like the infant and toddler toys. So we're going to want to keep those separate from the bigger kid toys for safety reasons and also because it's a specialty type of thing. And this does not belong here. <laughs> yeah, we've got a puzzle. So, our puzzles and games. 
which thankfully someone has done a really nice job of cleaning up and organizing this area. We want to try to keep like things together. Sometimes it's hard because our space is limited and we have to, you know, kind of jiggle things around. But puzzles should all go together. Games should all go together. We generally have like girl toys in one area and boy toys in an area. And then we have some nice things that we can kind of uh, showcase in a vignette. This is a really good area to do that. Although, records don't belong with that. <laughs> But we've got some nice little cars and things that are on a theme, so it uh, it makes it very pleasant and easy for customers to see. So those are some of our basic areas. Other areas, other people handle clothing and fabric and all of that sort of thing, but all of the hard goods are the areas that I help out with and many other people help out with. So that just kind of gives you an overview of how we like to do it. Thank you very much, and I will look forward to meeting you.